So I've been working on my own DIY foil drive board, foil assist board, where it's gonna have batteries in the center compartment here. I have a flip ski ESE that will be mounted here and I'm gonna do some wiring. It's gonna be a cool little rig, hopefully. It'll be nice and light. But for mounting the actual motor, what I have here is a 6374 waterproof flip ski motor. And I've been using the 6384 version of this motor on my DIY e-foil that I built earlier in the year. And that works great. So I need a way of mounting this motor and I want to keep it lightweight, minimalistic. So I came across a design and I kind of made my own version of it. And it's got this pod here and then it's got a strap, a rubbery strap, to cinch it onto the mast. Now, this is completely 3D printed. So what this comprises of is the pod itself, very small, and you mount the pod using the 30 millimeter part of the motor mount. The strap is a piece of TPU, and this is 3D printed too, this strap. And I'm gonna release all these files for you to download if you're interested. This strap here is printed from TPU 85A. So the 85A is the shore hardness and it's nice and stretchy and it's kind of grippy. This version here of the strap here is 95A, which is a lot easier to print, but it's a lot uh, harder. The shore hardness is 95 instead of 85. This doesn't work as well, I found. It's just too slippery and it's too hard. It, you could make it work if this is all you had or all you could print but 85A is definitely the stuff to go with. Now I also included in the files this nose piece as well that goes in on the front of the mast and that just provides a little bit extra kind of cushioning from the, from the strap cutting into the mast. I've tried both. You don't really need it, leave it up to you. To print the softer 85A TPU, I had to directly feed the filament into the extruder on my X1C. So I printed off this top mount to feed the filament. So the way this works, strap goes in the rear of the mount, comes all the way through, there's a stopper to stop it. There's an insert, and then these inserts are also TPU. Now, this doesn't matter as much. This could be printed from 95A or 85A. But again, the 85A is just a little grippier. And if you don't find it grippy enough, you can use something called Flex Seal or liquid electrical tape and coat the insides of this to make it really grippy. This one here I've coated with Flex Seal and it's super grippy. Otherwise, regular TPU without it coated can be very slippery and it may not hold onto the mast as well. These inserts, I have two. This one's just for a cheap AliExpress kite foil. And this one is for the red axis 19 millimeter mast, the aluminum one, because that's what I'm gonna use for my foil assist. The high modulus carbon mass or any of the carbon mass that you can get, they have this kind of, it's tapered. So that one's a little harder to model and I don't have that mast anyway. But for those of you who don't have a red axis mast or you have a different brand, I've included a blank TPU insert in the downloads. And I'll also include the step files if you want to modify the design completely. And if you can find a way of getting your mast traced, modeled, and put into a CAD software, and you can just do a Boolean operation to take out this centerpiece, you'll have to look up some videos on how to do that. It's not that hard, but a little research, you'll, you know, you can figure that out. This piece goes in here. So that comprises of the whole unit. It would look like this when it's put together. And then you would thread this around the mast. And if you want the nose piece, it could be there. You thread it through and then it's got eyelets and then it's got pins here that you would just pull it tight and cinch it. And you have a nice solid connection. And I'll overlay some B-roll right here so you can see what it looks like, but it's pretty solid. You can see here on my E-foil, uh, works great. And I printed out all of these on my Bamboo Lab printers. You can print it out on whatever printer you want, but I'd recommend printing it out for longevity, probably out of ASA. And I'll just mention that the, the Bamboo Lab H2D is phenomenal. This isn't a sponsored video by any means. I'm just mentioning this because printing ASA in it has been a game changer because it has the heated chamber. I'm printing out some ASA 
as you can see right here for my foil assist board because I'm doing an electrical uh, kind of conduit box thingy and it's got a really flat base which tends to curl and warp but with the heated chamber no problems whatsoever the other filament you could use is like a pet G maybe a fiber uh, a carbon fiber pet G would be good as well and you could totally use PLA if that's all you had or could print it does hold up fine but if there's any impacts um, my worry would be that it would crack right here where the screw holes mount to the motor so uh, TPU probably be your last resort if possible or if you're careful and you don't hit anything it's probably gonna be okay too because PLA is quite strong it's just not very tough so yeah that's the pod I went through another iteration that was a little bigger but after some testing, I found that this smaller one, why have all this extra material when it's not needed? I also mentioned that there's also a door and there's a three millimeter heat insert that can go in right there. And you can use a screw to hold the door on, the hatch. Um, I personally just use some tape. You don't really need to do that, but it's up to you. You can put a screw in there if you like. Maybe you'll find this design useful for whatever foil assist or e-foil that you are DIYing. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.